Hey, so hey, so today we're taking a look at Giant Ballpark Bug Insect, where the fuck this vanilla boys, whatever you want to call it. So this is a fun deck I've been playing on the side up. I like to play this deck on the side for fun because it's just a pure super casual. It's it's fun. Once it gets it once it gets going, it gets going, right? So this is a deck we've just been playing purely for fun and everything, so it's pretty great. So first off, so this deck is really also a deck really bad because this deck super relies on a field spell. You don't draw this field spell, you just fucking lose. So three insect knight. Three Neo Bugs. These are the strongest uh, level four vanilla bugs in the game, and because we still don't have the the Black Ranger, the C C Shine Ranger, whatever it's called, with two thousand attack. One second, we'll definitely take out the Neo Bug for that. But six bugs. So you can play six literal Garnets in this deck, and it's really sad because of that fact. Honestly, next we play a uh, three Danger Moth. It's a level four insect, so it gives you quote unquote draw power, or draw engine. I guess for the deck, it just it gives. It's a level four bug, so you can use rank four plays. It's, you use this for rank four. You use this for rank four plays, honestly, or link or climb up to link ladder, and it's a bug. So that that's what really matters. Three Goki Pole card that nobody knows what it does. So when this card is sent to the grave, you're gonna add a what is it, fifteen hundred exabird of fuck? Add a you know, add, sorry, add a level four insect. So uh, I'm, I'm thinking the other the, the C. You add a level four insect, so you can add Mothman, or you can add your vanilla insect. And then if you add a vanilla insect, you can special summon to destroy a monster bigger. So that's pretty cute. So three of that. Uh, three Prancers. This deck needs all the help it can get. So three, it's a big boy. He's our, he's 26. He deals with the cards. So three of him. You def desperately need him to do stuff. Three Kumongus because this is an insect, and it's this is the reason why you play Kumongus. The reason, you, and that's the reason why because it's an insect. You don't play uh, Gandala or Gand uh, Mothra. It's too big. You know what? You want a weak enough insect for you for you to beat over or to do damage with. with beat over damage. You don't want to give them a super big bug. So three of that. Three Vashuda, because you just that can naturally play Vashuda. So Vashuda, hey, if you forget, Vish these, hey, affect uh, normal monsters or non-effect monsters. So you can use Vashuda effect when there is a, a normal insect on the field. People forget about that for some reason. They're like, they're like yeah, I thought you need mud. Nope, nope, that's not how Vashuda works. <laughs> normal monsters are non-effect monsters, all right? And then three Ash, three Ash for fun, because it's a good hint. And then three Bells. I'm not sure how I feel about Bells. I pro honestly probably cut this, but yeah, three Ash is pretty good. Next up, we play the hardest soul of this deck. If this deck, if you did a resolve this deck, you 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 just die. You oh I'm sorry, you play three of them. You just die if you don't resolve this. This is like the this is like the most important card of the deck. It's giant ballpark. So giant ballpark, you guys don't know is that during damage calculation, you can make it so that make it so that nobody takes any damage. Then you can send a a insect from your deck to your grave. And you send a normal insect, you can special summon as many with the same name from hand, deck, or graveyard. And on and also giant power Warp, on ironically is a one card Aver Max. I'll show you if you guys don't know the combo, I'll give I'll show you the combo in a few sides. But yes, giant you need this deck. This just gives you this just summons your boys and then you just snowball from there from there on out. And then you just snowball snowball and toolbox from there. And then yeah, so three three lists. Three Mystic Mind, because we're general, because there's a reason why we play Mystic Mind, because you don't really care about Mystic Mind versus deck. Uh, one set rotation, and one Terraform, because like I said, we really need to get out Giant Ballpark as much as, as fast as we can. One Upstart, because Upstart's a good card. Uh, three Super Pros, because we can't really deal with any big monsters, honestly, so we gotta play Super Pros to deal with everything, you know. And then Fight for Traps, we play Triple Imperm and one Meta Metaverse, Metaverse to get into the... Giant Ballpark again, like 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 I said, because this is it. said this deck really needs to get to Giant Ballpark. Because if you don't get to Giant Ballpark, you just you just lose. You lose. It's like the game's over. You you lose. Good day, sir. So next for extract, uh, extract is just toolbox. So we play Gaga Cowboy unironically because you can unironically win in win with Cowboy from time to time. So we play that because there have been times where I actually had to, I actually won because I resolved Cowboy because you just swing 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 with all your bugs and then you have enough for Cowboy. Uh, one dweller because dweller is the best rank four ever, and the fact that Kanani still hasn't given it a a ulti print is a sin. Uh, one tornado dragon. Tornado dragon is a back row pop, so it's pretty good. One monk so you can climb off a shooter. One link spire. This is the reason why we play link spire is because if you open up multiple these guys in your hand, you just lose. You're sad. You're like, oh, so at least you can do something with link spider, honestly. So yeah, that's that. One land plab 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 plus. Cause there are times where you can't link off the monsters and you actually monster off the super pot, so you actually need lists from time to time. Cause it's just any two monsters. That's the reason why you play this. Cause this actually does come up where you actually need to get rid of the link monsters in order for you to continue plays. And then two of probably what is the best card. So two um, 
And Zector Pico Lafina. Um, her effect, she has a first effect on summon that's never gonna fucking come up. So I'm not even gonna bother explaining that effect. Her second effect is that she can shuffle back any three insect bosses to draw a card. And that's all you care about. That's honestly all you care about. Three uh, Dragon Draco Master of the Tenies. Three non effect monsters or something. It's the fact that you can pop monsters, monsters your opponent equal to the number of non effect monsters you have on in your graveyard. So that's pretty. He's a mass popper. So that's. The fact that he doesn't destroy cards really sucks. He only destroys monsters. Also, he can't destroy by battle with a effect monster, I guess. That's that's somewhat relevant. That really never comes up. He's just a rank 3. Probably places with Unicorn, honestly, if anything. And then uh, the card that allows us to play make Avermax is 3 Sephra Plapleon. So it's 3 Insect Monster. And then for every normal monster, which, by the way, your entire deck, pretty much. Oh, okay, I just showed Ghost Girls for some reason. That's a bad. That was a bad visual example. But anyway. It's three. It's it's, it's three. Uh, two plus insect monster. And then for every insect monster, normal insect you use, you gain a counter on it. Then you can remove a counter to summon back an insect monster. So what? And then we played the Avermax. So what you do with this? Basically, you summon this, uh, making using these bugs to make it. Then use our effect to bring back a a vanilla bug. And then link the vanilla bug into Link Spider. And then boom, you have Avermax. That's literally how Giant Ballpark is not is a one card Avermax. Unironically, so yeah. Three Avermax, and then the rest of the deck is just super poly tarts so of Mud Dragon by Chimera, Draco Draps Drapshion, and then Starving. So yeah, actually it's just pretty fucking extra. Deck. It's super poly tarts, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so like I said, I've been playing this deck on the side. It's just a fun deck. It's just a super fun casual deck. People don't expect it, and when it does, and when they don't expect it, it is like oh wow, oh boy, you just some of your boys. This is literally just a deck about me, and, me and my boys. So my boys right here, these are your boys. So you just play these as your boys. So that's pretty much it. For this deck, uh, I've been playing this deck for like a few months now. Uh, ever play it ever since Nash, ever since Nashville, just as a side fun deck. Really like this. This is just fun to play, but it really does suck at time. Like you said, this like I said, this deck super needs ballpark to get this deck rolling. If you don't draw a ballpark, you you lose ballpark to like Cosmic or Twin Twister, which everyone plays now. You just you, you're just sad. You're like you're just you go from me and your boys to just being a sad boy. So that kind of really sucks. But like I said, this is a fun deck. It's fun to play and everything, you know. But yeah, that's the profile. I feel like you have to play this deck as super going second, unironically. So because you can't do anything if you go first. Like this deck cannot go first because this deck desperately needs to re needs needs the battle phase for ballpark. So that's pretty much it. Yeah, so that's the, uh, that's the deck. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I want to say. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, K, thanks. Bye.